Hey guys, Tyrup here bringing you a 4v4 today. We are on Red Bull Express. Player today is pointing in the south. We have Robert's company playing as US forces. Straight away going for tactical support. Going for a mortar first as well. Strange build. Jag Panther as Soviets who has combined arms army, terror and tank hunters. Google Translate tells me this is thousands of miles away. The big picture as Brits who has lend lease assault. Mobile Assault and Advanced Placements. And finally, Chrono Walker as US Forces going for Airborne. From the north, we have a WIOPO Wheeler. As I'll see, who has Luftwaffe Supply, Jaeger Infantry, and Spearhead. Pinhead Larry as OKW Fortifications. Oh man, I didn't translate this one. And uh, finally, Ard Appleboa as. OKW going for Contact. breakthroough. Yeah, check. This is uh, both teams have a range team of two on them. Uh, one of them is rank one, the other is rank four. These are the ranks currently, which were from, uh, you know, this game's about a month old now. So, not sure. Okay. Google Translate tells me this is a stupid pig. And uh, supporting those two high ranking 2v2s are the players between uh, rank 50 and rank 300. So I think a slight overall ranking edge towards the axis with the uh, other two players. Okay, so the skirmishes. Quite a congested map Red Bull for 4v4. Supply is in action. Standing by for setting of command post. Some beacons coming up. The double coup wagons doing pretty nicely for OKW on this side. Make some beacons suppressed. Smoking triple maxim start for Yag Panther. Double mortars from Rabia's company. <laughs> Not recommended, but oh well. It's gonna be up to Yag Panther to try and hold the line. So allies to get forced back a touch, but there's a Ford ambulance back there. Healing up. Coming back out. A bit of smoke action now from Chrono Walker. An early ambo as well. Getting that before you know, squad of Pathfinders or similar. Nice heavy cover there, but still behind the light cover. A bit further back at the moment. We can slowly get into work. Any good targets for that mortar? Meanwhile, the allies on this side really struggling. Robert's company with a uh, not enough infantry to really hold the line, but maybe with the captain arriving, we'll return things around. I have to excuse a bit of traffic noise today. It's too hot for me to close my window. There's a vehicle going by. Decrew on one of the machine guns. Doesn't get stolen though, Axis backing off. Got a Ford battle group out the back. Quite far out the back as well. Interesting position for that. Axis claiming the center and Axis with the triple cap at the moment. First call for that Kubel. Holster on the sections now. For Thousands of miles away, the big picture. People right, diving in after the ambo. I think there was potential to chase around the corner and get the kill. Probably would have sacrificed the Kubel, but it's kind of coming towards the end of its lifespan often, so. Trying to get away. Wow, planting a mine with a one model squad. Very slow going. Oh, and there we go, the re echelon catch it. Engine crit. Does that mean it's a bandit? Strange. 
was falling left and right. Okay, Ford mechanized truck from R Dapplebot. Stupid peak with the Ford battle group. So Ford reinforcements in effect on that left hand side. The pack how we coming in now. one on this side now as well. This is clearing up some room. We've got the uh, half track coming in. I suppose you know the Ford back group is quite far away, so we can do some forward reinforcing at that more central location. Panther could probably do with some forward reinforcement itself. Very high amount of manpower at the moment. Doesn't have uh, medics either, a little bit sloppy. This is clearing up some positions the Axis are trying to hold. Allies now with the lockdown on the fuel on both sides of the map. Axis is struggling a touch. Luftwaffe officer, Luftwaffe supply that means for old Wheeler. 221 on this side of the map. We do have an anti tank gun nearby for thousands of miles away. And there we go, takes down the Kugel with it. Not the 221 quite yet though. Double mortars on the run, we've got the AA half track coming in. Going for the M5 as well. Maybe just going to use that for reinforcement. Double light vehicles though for Robert's company. It's going to slow him down a lot in his progress towards a medium tank. Let's barrage through the trees here. Pretty good connection. Dodging away from the follow-up shells though. Fighting position. About to get knocked out. Needs to spin around here. We have a Rakitin coming out though for Pinhead Larry, not quite on the front lines yet. Tank gun also in production for old Wheeler. Occasional foray into the center from both teams to cap that VP. But most of the fighting on the edges in these small channels. Typically, I think allies often win these like early stages with their earlier access to the Ford reinforcement and pack alley. Pretty strong in this kind of fighting. Plays to its strengths. In fact, I remember, I think I cast a game of like a whole bunch of 1v1 players playing on this map. And uh, they almost won the allies based on their really strong start early game. These are double pack houses. I think it's a strong option on this map. Good suppression coming through. Axis on the run. Need Larry getting the next tech truck in production. It has gone for double raketons as well. Interesting choice. Black Panther has spent through all the manpower reserves getting the tech going. Tier 4 is up now. Doesn't get any benefits from it though. No conscripts. 7 man upgrade. It's about 30 fuel away from the tank. We get to try to get a few more mines down. I'm expecting maybe we're going to see some early Kachusha action. Make sure you got some mines down to prevent dives on top of it. The R1. Oh no, second combat engineer now in the mix and uh, getting a fuel cache down. Interesting. Well, let's have had pretty good fuel control to this point. Double fuel cache is down, in fact. That's partially where the manpower reserves went for Yak Panther as well. Good value out of that recon plane. 
spotting for a very long time indeed. Lord reinforcement kicking in. Hex is just really struggling to break through on the side sections with the extra sight from the pyrotechnics. Falling back to do some healing at the ambo. Did get a walking stuka and here it comes now for Art Applebot. You touch late, has 50 fuel. Maybe you could have got this about a minute or two ago, but we'll see how it goes. Should be pretty devastating against a formation like this. Just needs the right targeting. Okay, you're gonna fire off a flare to spot for it. That could be very, very nasty indeed. Close range. Gonna minimize the dodging opportunities. I'd say like a line across here would be the best. Here it comes. goes the Ambo, there goes the Pakawi. Great start. Eight kills. Good counter to that forward reinforcement action. Tank gun shooting at infantry here. Oh, Deeper on the Raketan. Comes a close range Kachusha now. Not the best scatter on those rockets though. Well targeted, but not rewarded. Set up in the uh, cash mode here in the uh, 223. Provide some sight from this position as well, so that's kind of nice. Scott out already for Chrono Walker, that's really fast timing on that. Oh, 2-2-3 two, two, in some trouble. Pops the smoke. No attack ground though from Crodo Walker. Anti-tank gun under some pressure from the infantry. Suppression taking a while to kick in. Allies getting forced back. No rebuild on the ambo. Here it comes now. So in the meantime, struggling to hold on to some ground. Kitten advancing. Looking for some damage on the Scott, but missing. So far you can see allies probably with superior fuel control as well as VP control. Going to work on the uh, Shrekman's headquarters in the corner there. I'm not sure about that positioning. It doesn't really guard too much. And it's quite vulnerable as we can see right now. Getting blasted down by the double mortars. It's a tank on fire. Sonra kitten decrewed though. Double Maxim's quite far back. Thanks coming through, but don't really hit anything. So T truck does survive for the moment. Looks like the mortars are retargeting towards the infantry now as well. Smoke out. Close range Kachusha though. Ooh. They scatter along. There's a lot of team weapons back there. Devastating connection that time. 10 kills all of a sudden on that. It's been the walking Stuka's just about ready to fire. Okay, has fired up to 15 kills now. Dodge on the grenade. Nexus, you know, coming in occasionally, capping that VP, very important. You don't want to fall too far behind on those points. Be careful about the retreat timing here as well. Could die retreating over that mine. No, retreat path off to the left. Maybe he's got a full retreat point active on this. Indeed he does. Sitting into the meat grinder here on this map. Truck finally does end up going down. The uh, regretful for Pinhead Larry. Infantry from uh, Old Wheeler seems to be having trouble getting through the Maxims on this side. 
does have a mortar. He's been doing all right. Can start to use perhaps the counter barrage to try counter the US mortars. You do get a range boost on counter barrage as well, so it can be pretty nice outraging your enemy's mortars. Whoa, that was a nasty walking Stuka hit. Killed a Scott. I think that was on full health as well. Two rockets landing just right, and that was a devastating hit. Oh, he's got two walking Stukas now. Really trying to stack on the paint. Sherman Firefly out. Strange choice to go for that straight away. No tanks out yet from the Axis on this side. Quite the opposite, in fact, gone for double walking Stukas. Don't have anything to fire at. So, second Katusha now as well. It is for Yag Panther. Targeting the uh, forward retreat point. Getting a pretty good connection now. More kills, not a bad start. Double mortars did indeed get decrewed. Robias losing control of those. Going for a Jackson first. He's going for the quad as well, which is a little bit unusual to go for triple light vehicles. Steal on one of the mortars. Not if he's going to be able to get away. Maybe the smoke can assist. Not. A real meat grind, the classic Red Bull action. Nobody's capping in the center at the moment, though. Take a quick look at some of the KDs. Some sort of the axis maybe a uh, slightly hit. Not by much, though. Yak Panther with a really good KD. Triple Kachushas now. I mean, uh, that's crazy. Thing is, the Axis, none of them have gone for like a medium tank. So they don't have anything to just dive in here and go for the kill. I've seen one mine rebuilt. But certainly they would be quite vulnerable. Only one anti tank gun, no snares. Medium tank with a sweeper could just knock all of this out right now. Do have battle phase up at the moment. Pyos need to retreat and build up some tech though. Looks like another Ambo has fallen for Chrono Walker. This be the end of the paratroopers. Yep, down they go and uh, team weapons just strewn about the battlefield now. Yeah, those double walking Stukas really hitting hard. 20 kills, 2 on the other, ready to fire again, we have another foot retreat point back here. Likely to get targeted. Stuka is way out the back, out. very safe positioning, not going to get hit with the drive bite. Scott switching over to this side of the map. Getting a bit of work done, decrew on the Zis. Managed to steal a Rakitten. The Yak Panther really lacking in the infantry department. Thanks for stealing away a few of these team weapons. Walking Stukas climbing in their kill counts. Beers picks up this. Got some uh, airborne guards deployed by Yag Panther. We have infiltration spawns on those. I see a mortar. 10 kills. Pretty impressive. Well, we are charging forwards. Maybe airdropped in some of those med crates. Looks like they're active at the moment. Good Katusha barrage. The axis back. Points are draining on the allies. Need to contest the center. They are not 
doing at the moment. Oh, five out the back, taking some damage. Gonna get chain faster down, perhaps. Got all the Scots over here, the Katusha barrages coming through, but the building shielding a lot of that damage. Let's get away. Close call for Pinhead Larry. We've got a howitzer coming up. We're very tasty in this area and complete collapse on the left hand side. Forward reinforcement point. Forward retreat point destroyed. Colonel Walker switching sides with the Scots and leaving his teammate to die over there. So looks like the Axis winning the left. Watching Stukas. Too vicious for the allies to hang on. Got a calliope now for Rodbeers. Moderate connections. Two kills. But yeah, I mean, like one panther from the Axis could have just come in here and just about ruined everything at one stage. Allies quite lacking an anti tank. A capture point is being overrun. Got a Yag Panther first, though, for Pig. Of course, uh, Pinhead Larry got sent back a long way, losing his tech truck. How it's next. Slightly worse strike that time from the walking Stuka. Got the Howie coming down this area though. Just walking their way forwards. Allies really up against it, just struggling to hold on to territory at the moment. Tushes now. Good dodging though from old Wheeler. Taking too much damage. Triple Scots under pressure from the Panther. Nothing to provide engine crits at the moment. Or Chrono Walker doesn't have any riflemen. No mines either. Maybe can bait this Panther over a mine though. Got the S-285 right here. What is that coming down? Must be from the officer. Oh, big walking Stuka hit as well. Devastating blow. Oh, the Calliope getting a green wipe. So, big switch in tactics now. Allies trying to fortify themselves on the right hand side. And then the battle. Looks like it's going to be contested. More in the center. Second howitzer for Pinhead Larry. Do we have a uh, Yag Panther with the IL 2 precision bombing strike? Need to save up some munitions for that though. Jackson should be used on uh, anti infantry mode like this if possible. Taking free damage, providing vet to those anti tank guns. It's ready, five going chasing in. Yeah, Panzer in some trouble. It's ready, five needs one more hit. Oh, and gets it too. Good use of the focus sight. Oh, big walking Stuka. There goes the quad. Got to re back the other way. Hammering down. But the howitzer is coming down now as well. Zeroing artillery. The allies need to get out of here. The bears, I don't think he's noticed what's happening. Jackson continuing to fire at infantry, revealing itself in the fog. But it does seem like the Axis are having more success with the artillery than the allies are. 
is having to take a pretty big backward step at the moment. With the planes coming in. Somebody? Oh no, that's uh, assault artillery. One walking Stuka takes out a Katusha there. Churchill out now. He's stunned though. Maybe Clipe can do something. No, Clipe's going for a base barrage. Pretty good connection. King Tiger rolling out. Yes, indeed. Or Pig. Oh, right at the tail end of that. Wipes both of those Rakittens. 22 kills now on that all of a sudden. A big connection, but can quite easily recruit those. Nice getting forced back though, losing on the victory points. Decent number of tank destroyers up for the allies at the moment. Should be able to contain King Tiger. Yeah, here comes the Churchill. And the Firefly got a Panther here now though for Old Wheeler. The Katusha Barrage. Pack just hanging in there though. There's the half track back there for reinforcements as well. Oh, he's making a break for the VP. Jumping back on the Maxim. So they're going to be able to relieve some of the VP pressure in the center and on the right. Recon pass. Recon plane up in the air for Rabia's company as well. Here comes the Clive. He's got two of them now. Back onto those Rakittens. Yeah, they are not really dodging away. Taking too much damage ultimately. Could mean a lot worse for him. The allies stunned, making a bit of a pushback. The walking Stukas again, though, that is usually bad news for the Allies. We've got a Yag Tiger out now as well. Oh, that's a good Glypey into the base again, however. Looks like I've got one wipe, two wipes. D Cruise as well. And had Larry really feeling the hurt. Looks like one of his howitzers did get bombed out as well. He's down to almost nothing all of a sudden. Did manage to rebuild his square Panzer headquarters though. That tiger's gonna make life tough for the allies through the center though. Quite a laney map and relatively small for 44 as well. Hard to flank the Yak Tiger. Good walking Stuka connection. 8 kills all of a sudden. And Tina on the other, that's ready to fire. Okay, Firefly battling it out, but the Yak Tiger comes in from the side. And that's Zering artillery dropped in again by Pinhead Larry. He's building a Panther now. King Tiger rumbling forwards as well. Dodging away from the Zering Artillery pretty effectively this time. Walking Stuka Barrage though, again. One of our AT guns has been neutralized. Just continuing to drain. So, minor defences could be right for an allied push. I don't really have like a mobile medium tank to go there and force away a bunch of troops though. Would probably re require a bunch of the Scots hidden over there. Much more major commitment to clear that up. King Tiger inflicting the pain. We've got the Yag Tiger rolling forwards. 
So far though, he hasn't got any kills, just inflicting some damage. Clear up some terrain maybe, I'm not sure, it's strange. Oh, it looks like another Kachusha died at one stage as well. Now just one now. Might be not hitting too much. Kachusha Barrage though, one more kitten, nearly deep root. There goes an M5. There goes one tank gun though as well. Here goes uh, the Kachusha getting counter-barraged by the Walking Stukas. Yeah, Panther really needs to sharpen up, moving away with the Kachusha's, like, Art Apple Bow is after firing off those barrages. It's charging forwards, looking for the SU-85 kill, but there's enough anti-tank here to force them away. Jackson committing too deep though from Mobius that's probably dead. Got a bombing strike coming in though. Or maybe major artillery. Here goes the Jackson though, abandoned. Picked up a third Calliope, Robius. Calliope Raj onto the Rakitin, gets the D crew quite quickly. Oh, bit of a move. Yag Tiger getting very low. Stunned. One shot as well. Fireflies needs to come through and land a hit. And does. Penetrates. Massive bombing strike out the back though. Big damage in there from old Wheeler. Claimed a few casualties, but that's a big pick off. Yag Tiger down. Huge for the Allies. The allies fighting back strong. Double Jackson's out now for Chrono Walker. Has the planes ready to go as well. Not having much luck getting through King Tiger's armor at the moment, however. It's 35 coming in. Maybe going to knock out the Shred Panzer headquarters. The Howards are also a little bit exposed. Pinhead Larry. A second panther coming through, but it might be too late to save this tech truck. How are you going down to the bombing strike? And there goes the Shred Panzer headquarters yet again. Tiger on the run from the brick vehicles. At the diving in. Oh, picks off one Jackson. Jackson going chasing after the panther. Planes coming in for Chrono Walker. This is a lot of Panthers here. Could get the King Tiger kill. The Firefly actually connecting and gets the kill. I thought it was going to be out of range. Just managing to get the job done. Oh, Churchill. Engine crits. Oh, but the Panther taking some big damage from the planes. Popping the smoke. Trying to disappear. Panthers charging in for Pinhead Larry. Oh, and big connection combining with the pack. Not gonna let this get away. Here goes the SUA 5 double fireflies out the back connecting themselves. Panther blitzing out. Might be into the tank area. Points are still draining from the Allies though, down to 130. Really struggling to cap the center. Well, they might decap it, but yeah, just capping it. Allies unable to do so. Scott's getting repaired up out the back. Rebuilt on the Jackson for Chrono Walker. Third Firefly in the mix now. Thousands of miles. Bombing strike coming in again. Oh, okay, just uh, major artillery. 
But yeah, triple fireflies, that's going to be pretty hard to deal with for the Axis. Should take down these Panthers quite quickly. Currently struggling a little bit for repairs though, only one Royal Engineer. Really needs probably two more of those. To keep this fleet healthy. He's not having too much yet. Nice once again getting the decap, but unable to cap the center. Down to 115 points. Calliope is much more successful. Don't die as easily to the Walking Stuka counter attacks. Damage there from the double fireflies. Jackson coming through, but here that's just a lot of Panthers now. Zering Artillery coming in for Pinhead Larry. Looks like one Jackson's going to go down. Guys need to dodge out of the zone. This is where the lack of snares can really start to hurt the Allies. So many Panthers on the field are so mobile. There's been no infantry that has a snare on the field for the Allies. Be at the end of one of the Panthers. No, not quite hanging in there. So artillery came down. Got a hound to fire now as well. But still, the point's drain against the Allies. Thousands of miles making a bit of a move here with his fleet of vehicles. Oh, there goes a Scott in the center. Jackson blitzing away to safety. The brick tanks are on the roll. Oh, a rebuild on the Yag Tiger though. Does manage to take down one Panther. To see if they can get away. Yak Tiger on the chase down. And picks off the Vet 2 Firefly as well. My Lord, a tank's been lost. Abandoned though. Jackson coming through. Looking for that wounded panther. It's already pretty close to full. Oh, going hunting maybe for the walking Stuka. Fires off the shot on the panther though. A lot of tanks in this area. Don't think that Jackson's going to get away alive. It does not. Bazooka paratroopers. He's an option against the mass panther plate. Guys, finally get the cap. They're down to 89. Axe is still over 300, though. It's just uh, not losing that many Panthers, just slowly inching forwards. Their advantage, it kind of feels like. But here we go, big move from Pig. Managing to get out of there quite safely. Big tiger coming in from the side. Jamming the capture though, Chrono Walker. Range Calliope. Here goes the officer. Got the charging in here. Engine to recruit the decrew Firefly. Oh, the walking Stuka though. Big damage. Okay, there goes one Panther from Pinhead Larry. He lost his truck, so can't rebuild those very easily. Looks like he might be saving for the uh, King Tiger. He's got a mechanized base up. Out the back now. We do with a, another kitten or two as well against this mass firefly play. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone for mass Ford assemblies for repairs. I saw one back here. I didn't notice there were three. A okay, so it means he doesn't need as many Royal Engineers. Good long term investment there. This is again, though, in control of the center. Flies down to one. Oh, okay. Big walking Stuka strike. Flame mortar. I mean, uh, Sindri planes coming through. Zeroing artillery now from Pinhead Larry again. It's Calliope's. Seem to have fallen off a bit. The targeting on them not quite as sharp. center though could be decent. Our troopers can sneak in there now. So it's going to be the captain though. Comes the panther backed up by the double kittens now for Pinhead Larry. Very close there King Tiger as well. We have a Jackson nearby, but not in position to defend against this panther hiding behind the building. Another assault artillery from Mad Applebore. Okay. Here goes one of the light vehicles. Damage onto the Panther, but not enough to knock it out. Nice, do make some headway in the center though, capping. Down to 63 points though. Conscripts in the mix now for Yag Panther. No inter tank grenades on them though. So you can't get the snares off. Oh, pretty good Calliope this time. Clearing off the center. Panther doesn't have much at the moment, lost most of his vehicles, picking up a Scott. Uh, Bazooka's not able to finish the job there. I think if they both pinned, they probably could have got the kill. No chance of that happening, not. Oh, that's a nasty Werfer as well. More casualties on the Allied side. Here comes the King Tiger now for Pinhead Larry. Okay. Tiger getting to work. Jackson uh, needs to get involved, but we do have the double of kittens there. He's got to make sure his Calliope's are ready to rumble. Let's have one of them available to fire. Triple Fireflies need to get in the mix now as well. Just tank guns rolling forwards. Nice capping in the center though. And do manage to get a few more points off the axis. It's a long slot though, it's still 300 to go. Germ Tiger out now there as well. Damage onto the Panther, but not enough to kill. The tiger's still alive as well. Our finders in camo can pushed around. And now they're dead. Stern Tiger gets its first wipe. Oh boy. Tank guns coming in from the side. There goes the Churchill. So much health in that. Still goes down. Looks like the Axis are on the charge now again. We need some good rocket artillery barrages to knock out these anti-tank guns. 
There's one of them down there. No activation on the AP ammo. It doesn't have munitions for it. Get the recon plane up in the air though. Triple Scots. Or oh, four Scots in fact. Get to work. Oh, and they wiped that really fast. Rambo on the side now as well. Getting away from the artillery quite nicely. It's the artillery from the uh, Panther. Can't dodge away from that Sturm Tiger though. Re echelon down. Panther coming down the far side. A lot of shoe mines down this angle as well. Rebuild on the howitzer now as well for Pinhead Larry in the corner. And going for the cap on this VP. Nice, can't allow that to happen. Since they're struggling through the center so much. Panther on the run. Zuka paratroopers are there, got to do their best against these Panthers. Triple Scots though. Nicely. Oh, but the walking Stuka knocks out one of them. Triple Fireflies a little bit inactive though. Let's see some more use. Sniper action. Snipers for the Brit player. 25 very far forwards. Risky on oh, focus sight mode as well. Could potentially have gone down to that Panther. Jackson's there as well though, and the Raketan. Big damage onto that Panther. Clypey into the central area. Fulkscreen is dodging away from it quite cleanly though. Panther was run past the Sturm Tiger. Okay, triple fireflies making a bit of a move. Start to disengage. Got a few anti tank guns on this side still. Okay, 17 on two of the. Oh, Panther's diving in, going for a few more of these Scots. Makes sense to use their heat shells since the heat shells act if they can to hit the Scots. Makes a big difference. It's much, much easier to kill. Zeroing artillery out the back there as well by Pinhead Larry again. Oh, he's ready. Five goes down. Triple Fireflies trying to get some revenge. Not having much luck. Just look like they're about to make a big push again. Touching away from something. It's just advancing on the VP. Not many units over there to stop them from decapping it. Got this charging in again, going after the Scots. For the moment. Oh, there we go. Finally, engine damage. Could allow this Panther to go down. Oh, oh there it goes to the Bazookas, in fact, from the rear. A few more points going to drain from the Allies, though. So, artillery down, clearing this off a touch. It's called running into that and dying. Do manage to secure the center down to just 35 points now. 
Slowly but surely the allies are bleeding out. A lot of trouble killing off these panthers. The walking Stuka is bleeding them hard. 55 and 73 kills on those. Including probably a whole bunch of vehicles as well. Look at that. Eight vehicles destroyed. Don't see that very often on a walking Stuka. Here come the fireflies though. Kintai got a little bit exposed. And the kitten just forced away. Oh, there we go. We got hit by some tulip rockets, I believe. Being stunned in place. Being blasted. One more shot required. Oh, and there it goes. One firefly could go down. No, we've got some smoke covering this up. Pack actually gets decrewed. Panther disengaging. Got the Yag Tiger coming through as well, but vehicles do get away from uh, the Brit player. Well done. A little bit sloppy from Pinhead Larry, leaving that King Tiger forwards with no support. It's punished for it. Looks like the Howitzer got decrewed over here. Not killed though. The troopers doing their best in the center and do manage to get the decap. Oh, Jackson coming through, but intercepted by the Panther. Do have the bazookas nearby though. Might be able to keep this Jackson safe. Oh, another howitzer built by Pinhead Larry. In fact, he's got another one out the back now as well. Some non stop howitzers from him. Targeting the repair area. Can eventually knock out those trucks. I mean, those port assemblies. Drain against the Axis. But the allies down to just five is looking grim. Require some heroic action to make this comeback. There's a Scott, big explosion. Fighting hard for the center, the Yag Tiger just blasting away. Oh, where's this Katusha going for Yag Panther? Oh, bad misclick there. We are suffering Hang on though. It's come out the back in some trouble. The Bazooka paratroopers though have been actually very good. Major asset. Chrono Walker. He needs to drop in the planes though. A bit of breathing room. Axis capping in two areas. Lippy's jamming that for the moment. We've got triple Jacksons over here. Some artillery coming down on them. And they're diving in after the Jackson. Jackson trying to get away. Both on the planes very deep. Maybe they'll be able to take out the Panther. So fast with the Blitz active. Second plane. Oh, the building shields enough damage so that the Panther survives. Heartbreaker. And having targeted it so deep in his territory instead of maybe here, which he has sight of. Not really in a relevant position to zone out any further Axis tanks, unfortunately. Okay, triple Jacksons. Oh, zeroing artillery again, gonna zone the allies off the VP. Five points remaining. Axis need something to cap in the center and they've got the game locked up. That's Katusha Barrage from the side. the Calliope now as well. Nexus decapping. But can they survive the onslaught of rocket artillery? Looks like they can. They're slightly towards the allied edge of that capture circle and uh, dodge most of the damage. Kitten in there though, holding strong. Nexus running past the central VP. Big mistake.
desperate stuff here from Jagdpanther. Try and hold on to these VPs. Here come the Triple Jacksons. Got the skating out of there though. Propaganda down. Oh, a big Katusha action now as well. Triple Fireflies are ready to roll. Points are draining against the Allies. They've lost control of two of the points. They're desperately trying to cap over here. But I don't think they're going to be able to get it done in time. And there we go. So, that was, uh, that was a 4v4, eh? <laughs> oh, not, not really a fan, personally, of this kind of gameplay on a, you know, such a tight corridor-y map like this. There's masses of artillery head-on gameplay. Not my favourite style of action for Company of Heroes. But, you know... Good uh, play, I'd say uh, Art Applebaugh hard carrying with those walking stukas. Probably uh, game winning. I think Jagdpanther making a few mistakes, you know, not backing away with the Kachushas, allowing them to die, costing the allies a lot. He lost two or three of those, and that hurt them badly. Maybe a little bit reckless with his SU-85s as well. Really felt like Jagdpanther had above, like, I don't, I don't know if he ever got above 70 popcat throughout the entire match. Would have been nice maybe to see the allies try and contest this side a little bit more. We can see right at the end. Some paratroopers deployed over here. There were a bunch of mines. Would have required some sweeping, a little bit of planning and stuff. But would have been nice to try and contest this. Open up some uh, capping opportunities. Allies getting a bit of tunnel vision. Would have been up to Chrono Walker to attempt. But you know, if he sent a Scott and a sweeper over there. Could have cleared something off. Maybe some bazooka paratroopers. Could have opened up uh, some capping opportunities, especially when they got, you know, below 80-ish points. Could have been an opportunity. And yeah, it would have been nice to see the Allies as well, maybe go for a dive, try to catch some of that rocket artillery out the back. I know it can be tricky, but felt like Pinhead Larry had some openings on his side. Not really many mines down here. Could perhaps have uh, found an opportunity to kill, or maybe not. But yeah. That was a <laughs> that was some uh, top top ten four v four action. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling instalment. Goodbye and good luck.